Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naisha if you're new here. And in today's video, we're going to be doing my Ipsy box unboxing. Ipsy is a makeup and beauty subscription box and it also comes in different tiers. So there's the lowest tier, which is up, I believe is $12 and you get a little bag with some sample sizes. Then there is this size, which is called the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, which is $25 a month. And then there's the Glam Bag Ultimate, which is $50 a month. A little bit too rich for my blood. So I'm gonna stick with the $25 box. So before we start, if you like these kind of subscription box unboxings, please click the subscribe button. I would love to have you back. I've already used <laughs> all the products in the box, so I already know what's inside, so I have a little bit of an opinion on them. Um, I'd rather use them and then be able to give you, uh, not a review, but you know my opinion on the product as opposed to it being like a first impression because things can go wrong in first impressions. So let's jump into the box. First thing, you get a card that tells you all of the items that are in the box. This month's theme is Clean Slate, which, you know, is January, so we all have to start over again. It's a new, it's a new day. The card lists all of the items and their prices and kind of gives you a little description as to what it is. So first thing in the bag is this little clutch. All of the Glam Bag Plus bags come with a clutch every month. And this is the theme, I guess because it's clean slate, it's a marble theme. Um, I usually don't keep these. I always give them away, give them as gifts. So I put them in with um, my sales on my Poshmark or my Mercari. I'll link those below if you want to check it out. I have so many of these, I really don't need any more, but they're so cute and I love to give it away to people who might actually use it. So that's the first thing we get a bag every single month. The next item are these masks. So it's the pink milk mask from Duft and Doft uh, for toning and radiance. There are six masks in here, three in each little pack. I already used one. So this is for toning and radiance. So after you wash your face, you put this on, you leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes. This has a milky pink serum um, on the mask. And when I used it, my skin was very radiant after. It was very soft and very radiant. The only thing I think is really strange about this is there's two um, parts to it where there's a regular paper mask, a regular sheet mask that we know about, but there's also a mesh over it. And I guess once you put it on, then you, the instructions say here, once you put it on, then you kind of peel the mask off, the mesh part off. Maybe the mesh part is to help you put it on easier. I, I didn't see a difference. It was actually pretty useless to me, but it's a sheet mask. It works as, a, as well as a sheet mask could, so. But um, you, got a lot, you get a lot. I got six in the box, which I think is a lot, and that's good. Next thing in the box is this Pearlice Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Eye Adore Serum. This was what I chose, just like BoxyCharm, Ipsy, although I think Ipsy did it first. Ipsy gives you a choice during the month. They'll send you an email telling you, go in and choose an item for your box. And this is the item I chose because I wasn't enjoying my last serum that I got from a previous box. And I wanted a new one and I didn't want to have to buy one. So when I saw that I had this choice and it's Pearlies, which I, I have tried a couple things from this brand and I liked it. So I decided to choose this eye mask. It's a Blue Lotus 4-in-1 I Adore Serum, which, oh, I didn't say before, the masks set of six are $14.98 for the set of six, so that's $15. And the mask is a value of $58. Well, I'll be. Unless I get this in a box again, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna pay $58 for this. But we'll see how it works. It was, you know, soothing under my eyes. I gotta really look into it to see if it de-puffs or what does it say it does? Your under eyes are delicate, so this serum is designed to handle them with care. The 4-in-1 formula contains plant-based powerhouses like French marine plants, soy proteins, and vitamin E to target fine lines, crow's feet, dark circles, and puffy nits, all of which I have. So let's see what actually does something. I'll let you know. But $58, though? God damn. Okay. Next thing in the box is this 
Billion Dollar Brows Best Sellers Kit. So it comes with a universal brow pencil. I'm always weary when they say universal because is it really universal? The, the spectrum of hair colors is so wide. Can anything really be universal? I'm wearing it today and it it worked out. I did have to set it with my uh, Kat Von D brow powder in medium brown. I know people hate Kat Von D for some reason, but I love this. This is like my favorite brow powder ever. So I'm wearing it. Yeah, so universal brow pencil and then a brow duo on one side is a concealer, on one side is a highlighter, a clear brow gel, and a little brush. What I did think was funny about this though is I saw that a lot of people received this in their BoxyCharm Premium for January. So it's almost like if they're just going around, you know, shilling their products to everyone. I mean, I, I really don't care, but I just thought that was interesting. Okay, so these are all the items that are in the little box. So there's the brow pencil in the universal color. Uh, there's usually a cap on the brush, but I always throw those away because I don't like uncapping the brush every time I have to use it. And this is the universal color. I mean, it's pretty dark for quote unquote universal. I've seen some that are way too light and doesn't even show up on my eyebrows. But these, they showed up pretty well. It's pretty emollient. It's not too waxy and like hard to get on, but it's hard enough where it stays on your skin. And then, like I said, I set it with the brow powder because my eyebrows are oily. Like, who has oily eyebrows? I do. Anyway, so the next item is this dual ended pencil, a concealer, and highlighter. So, honestly, this is the concealer. Which is actually pretty creamy for a pencil. And then this is the highlighter. But I'll tell you, they look the same to me. Like, one is just slightly lighter than the other. The first time I used it, I used it to clean up my brows, which is what is this intended for. But this is way too light for my skin tone. You know, I didn't want to have that light kind of cast under my eyebrows. So uh, I also used it to, like I said in my previous video, whatever concealer I'm using for the day, I tend to use it as my eyeshadow primer. So I tried it as, a, as an eyeshadow primer. I used it today as well. And it works pretty fine. My eyeshadow is not creasing. I didn't have any issues. I just kind of swiped it on my lid and tapped it out with my finger. And then I went in with my eyeshadow. But today I used a concealer that is closer to my skin tone under the brow. So I don't get that halo. And then I used this basically on the lid up into the crease. I also use it as a waterline eyeliner, you know, to brighten up the eye. And I really liked it for that because, you know, it's basically a nude liner. And I liked it for that. And then the brush is a typical flat brush, it's really soft and a little bit longer than most flat brushes are. So I use that to kind of clean up on the brow and to also blend it down onto the eyelid. So decent enough brush. And then also it came with a clear brow gel. So to me, this kind of felt like hair gel. When I was done, I brushed it through my eyebrows. I used it today. It felt like it had a little bit of a crunch to it, but it's not completely uncomfortable. But really, I don't, I'm not quite sure if this does anything more than regular hair gel. So, it's fine, I guess. The Billion Dollar Brows Best Sellers Kit, feels like a tongue twister, is $42. Well, it has a value of $42. Either way, I will not be paying $42 for this. Thank goodness I got it in the box. I will be using it though, so. I don't know why I'm putting it back in the box. But it's going back in the box. I got issues. The next thing in the box and the thing I was happiest about was the Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions Eyeshadow Palette. So these teeny tiny palettes. I think these were the in the first ones that she came out with. I believe so. Last year sometime. Or maybe 2018. And this is just so pretty, of course. I'm matching today. This is so pretty. This is pretty similar to the last palette, the Ace Beauty Scarlet Dust palette. But if I had a choice between that one and this one, this one definitely wins. This is my first Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette that I've ever tried. And I really, really like the formula. It's super... Oh, I've got a little 
is very very sparkly and shiny and this oh I'm so in love with that color love it that's what I have on my lid today kind of giving me that smokiness you can see where I'm smoking yeah so I'm pretty much wearing everything from the box on my face today um, but I really really enjoyed this palette I'm definitely keeping it I will be using it again I might even use it for Valentine's Day unless something prettier comes before then. But we'll see. The Huda, Be Huda, 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 Huda Beauty Obsessions Palette in Ruby is $27. Uh, definitely worth the $27. Now it's making me think I gotta try some other Huda Beauty eyeshadows. But we'll see how that goes. So last thing in the box we have is this Nature's Cartel Lipstick in gin and platonic how cute so i really love this is like a soft touch type of packaging but it's white and i know my it's already getting dirty my dirty grubby little hands are gonna mess this up <laughs> anyway so here is the color it's a kind of a it's a burgundy reddish color i don't know if i have any more room to show it's a matte lipstick but a soft matte so it's not uncomfortably matte really pretty color something i would pretty much only wear in the fall and the winter so of course i'm wearing it today and then i have this uh revlon hd vinyl lip polish over top in so shady so it's a little bit glossy although i'm about to go eat as usual and i don't know why i would wear this because it's gonna be everywhere but you know what i like it it's vampy it's very winter very smoky and I'm very monochromatic today I love a monochromatic moment anyway um, that lipstick the nature's cartel lipstick in gin and platonic is $15 not bad for a lipstick I'll put the total of everything that we got in the box here and for $25 uh, I'm sure it's over $120 and again I think that's a really really good deal if you're new to makeup, you're trying to build your collection, you want to try out new things, or you want to never have to pay $58 for skincare, uh, this is a good way to go. So that's everything I got in my box. Again, everything is on my face today. And also I should have a video of me using all the items, a quick little video on Instagram. So of course, feel free to follow me on Instagram so you can see those videos. You can see more looks if I decide to do more looks with the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette. That's it. So again, if you like these types of videos, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.